So R. So maybe you're a student that has been told by their professor that you have to learn R, or maybe you've given the option to learn R, but you don't have to. Or maybe you're in a new job and they use R and you'd like to brush up on it, or you think that it could just be helpful. First, let's talk about why I think you should learn R. Now, sure, there's a lot of problems with R, but I'm not gonna worry about that because what I see is R is a quickly developing programming language where it's overtaking the industry. So what I mean is if you want a job in academia or some related field, R is gonna be helpful because you're gonna do stats with R and all this stuff. But if you wanna work in the industry, R is also gonna be helpful because more and more I see industrial jobs requiring R and also Python but R, and I think the reason is it's free and it's really easy to manipulate. So canned statistical programs like SPSS, if there's a new statistical technique that comes out, they have to incorporate it into their program to use it. But with, that, uh, with R, you can develop it yourself or a colleague of yours or someone else in the world can actually develop the code to do that statistical technique and then put it in R a lot quicker without the need to update um, your, your program. You just install their package. Now, the unfortunate thing about R and that process is mistakes happen. So there has been packages where they found errors and that means some publications have some errors in it. So there is drawbacks with R but it is a much more innovative way to do statistics just because you're able to be a community and work together to solve statistical issues. Now R as well isn't just about stats. So I'm saying you should learn R because if you want an academic job or an industrial job, that is gonna help. But that doesn't mean you're gonna be a data analyst or a statistician, because maybe that's not what you want at all. And that's fine, because R goes way beyond that. So for example, I work with brain-computer interfaces. I use EEG to control robots. I can control a robot with my mind through R. So learning R isn't just about learning stats or how to manipulate data, but it has an infinite amount of applications that I couldn't, couldn't even imagine. In 10 years from now, R might be the mainframe behind everything, or it might not be, I don't know. But I think right now in our lives, R is a huge program that is quickly growing and becoming popular and quickly becoming required. So right now, having R skills might be uh, that little edge that's gonna get you the job. But in the future, 10, 20 years, knowing R might be as common as knowing Microsoft Word is right now. So if you tell anyone, I know Microsoft Word, it's no longer, uh, wow, great skill. It's implied that you should know that. And R might not be specifically that in the future, but if you're new to programming, R is a great place to start because programming is the future. I guarantee you that as where it is for us today, programming is gonna to be for us tomorrow.